Raymond. Oh. My name is Raymond Wells, and we're from the Union Bar Reserve. And this is this is what we do. We're fishing. Net fishing. Net fishing. Um, we dry fish. Wind dry. And wind dry fish, and we smoke fish. And can. And can. Can smoked fish. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I don't know what else to say. I haven't had any much sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Stay up all night fishing. <laughs> yeah, well, we live in the bush. It's three and a half kilometers yeah. from oh, nowhere. <laughs> yeah, and but we, don't, we don't have, um, we don't have, we're off the grid. We have to bring in our own water and gas, and we live on a generator, and um, we're trying to be more... Uh, Pretty neat to see. To come down there, it's really nice. There's, yeah. there's no traffic. No neighbors. No neighbors. Three and a half kilometers is our closest neighbor. People come down and <laughs> say, oh, I wish I could live here. <laughs> <laughs> we make that smoke fish. You have to... Um, it, what you do is you get the fish and fillet. then you fillet, you fillet the fish and then you put it in a brine and the, and the brine and the brine is consists of salt and sugar and it'll take two days in the brine stirring every 12 hours and then after two two days of in the brine and it has to be in a cold brine otherwise it'll go bad um, then we stick it in our smoker and we smoke for a minimum of 10 hours and then 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 you get that <laughs> then then you get that yeah but I it looks, can see a little looks better that way so this can be preserved for for how many years few years one year you can keep it like that in the fridge long as you want for long as you want long as it's cold you keep it cold but probably, if you open it then you eat it probably two years and if it if it would last probably two years in the fridge and um, if when you open it it takes about three weeks and you can tell if it's gone bad because it goes moldy. No, I know. you salt no. it. Salt it. Yeah, they yeah, you salt it. You their salt fish. it. But then, I, I don't like salt fish. Really, really bad salt fish. So. This yeah. is salt. Salt smoked and sugar. Yeah, the sugar so. offsets the salt. So yeah, you end up with a really nice. This is the skin side, and this is the garlic candy. So. We put the flavor on just before we put it in the smoker, and yeah, it's well liked by a lot of people. So. We, will, we will put um, pepper on it, um, ginger curry, uh, we have a type that we call hot stuff, <laughs> um, what else, ginger curry, garlic. Indian candy. Indian candy. Yeah, Indian candy. It's all the same brine, it's just what... You put on the flavors when you put it on after it's ready, after it's brined to go into the smoker. Then you put your flavors on. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is well. We're more modern with the vacuum seal, but otherwise, they've. This is what I was taught by my elders oh, how to smoke fish. Oh, what other foods yeah. besides fish? You mean? Yeah. You're oh, I deer. I, I'm a deer. I'm a hunter, oh. and we get deer right on our reserve. And then we take the deer and then we smoke, we smoke it too. We smoke some deer and then we make my own, I cut my own meat and uh, make my own hamburger. I do everything myself, but, but I was showing that all for my elders. So, so the young people today uh, don't know. They don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't shoot bear myself, but I'm just deer. Deer, uh, moose, whatever. But in our house, around where we live, we get our deer right there. Two deer, two deer a year we get easy. Oh, two deer, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And they they're right there on, on our property, so it's pretty good. <laughs> we get our deer. Um, we don't shoot grouse, so there's birds, all kinds of game birds. So we basically, basically chicken, pork, deer, and fish. 
<laughs> you have any and other corn. rice? Right. Uh, rice is a is like um, a traditional or a That's traditional pretty. meal would be rice, corn, and fish. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've invented, well, my mother taught me how to make rice dressing, and uh, I invented the sockeye sandwich. So <laughs> he fillets the fish, and I put the rice dressing down, and then put the other fillet on top, and it's like a sandwich when it comes out. It's got the wow factor. We have a 15 and a half foot smoker craft boat, and a 20 horse Mercury, a 1946 Mercury on the back. Awesome. And it runs like a, like a charm, yeah. And we have a gaff in the boat, in case you have to gaff. We catch great big sturgeon. Sturgeon. Yeah. Can, are you allowed to eat them? If they if they get caught in the net and they're dead, then we can keep them. And it happens once in a while, not too often, but they do get. They'll get hung up and then they oh. can't breathe. So how do you cook those sturgeons? I love it deep fried. Better than any fish and chips. You take it, fillet, fillet it, and then skin it. You have to take the skin off because it's just like sandpaper. And then you have solid meat, and there is no bones in the sturgeon. You tie it. In the olden days, they would start from the tail and cut off a piece and then keep it tied up because there's no refrigerators. And then they let, let the sturgeon go back? Yeah, but they keep it tied up so it can stay in the water. So they can keep eating it. You keep eating yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't, we don't do that. that. <laughs> so so no. it's fresh. Yeah. yeah. Really fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. No. Um, so we're just lucky if that happens to us, you know, because it's really good, you know, cooked many ways. You know, you can cook it in the oven, bread it, fry it on top of the stove, deep fry it. It's just like fish and chips. Ye old English fish and chips. <laughs> Ye old native <laughs> fish and chips. So, so you enjoy this kind of uh, wildlife? Oh yeah. I like being off the grid. I don't even have a computer. I have a phone, that's the only computer I know. I don't even know how to work a computer. But Myself, I was born basically in this real small town and got my first deer when I was 12 years old. And I was hunting with my elders, but I'd rather be in the bush, in the bush any day than be in like Vancouver. I only come here to visit. <laughs> I'd rather be in the bush. <laughs> my name Raymond Wells. Um, they call me Butch. That's my nickname. <laughs> Your name? Uh, Irene Wells, and I don't have a nickname. <laughs> Yeah, you want to get a picture of that? It's, goes it's, to it's that. a bit red. Adams River, but these are the these are excellent fish. Oh. No problem with, with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they color okay. Yeah, yes, they, they color. They're just a so pink or salmon. When we put fish in the tote, we use salt, a salt brine too, for our fish to keep them fresh. We put salt, salt, ice, and that water is so cold. You cannot keep your hand in there. I, I offered anybody, I fill this up and I make my slushy brine, it's called, and I put $100 on the table. If you can keep your arm in there, up to your armpit for one minute, then you get the $100. Nobody has ever done it. Because <laughs> this is full of water when we do it. Let's keep for yeah. 12 hours, 24 hours, are very cool. That, well, you can keep fish in this tote. The way they are, seven, eight days in a cold brine like that. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Urban life? When I was younger, it was okay, but I'd like, usually I'd shave, but I've been, fish, I've been fishing so much. But I'd rather be out in the bush. We have a bird sanctuary around our house, and I'd rather be out in nature than than ur urban life <laughs> because you see when you have to go to work or go uptown there's so much traffic we um, we only have two stoplights where I live <laughs> stop signs here it's crazy <laughs> it's free you can feel the f kind of freedom right yes very very much and then and you don't have to worry about all the druggies 
like out like in town like all these people on meth and all that stuff there's nobody out there the only the only problem we had to shoot one bear this year because uh, the bear we didn't even have fish but the bear started to attack us chase us so I went and, and I went to scare the bear away I shot three times to scare it away and it jumped up reared up on its hind feet and went is it grizzly or black bear? Uh, brown bear. Brown bear. Oh, grizzly. Brown bear. No, no, not a grizzly. A, it's a brown bear, but it's still a black bear. Oh. Yeah. They're they're brown, but they're it's still classified as a black bear. Oh. Wow. And that's the only we only had to shoot three bears ever down there for fear of our lives. So. In so, seven years. So. so you think the bear have spirit? Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, then we had a cougar come. This year we had to shoot a cougar. It was really sick. Really starving. sick. Starving. It was starving. Because yeah. this year too hot? No, not enough. Um, what time is it? It was in the, was it was it in was the spring. Early spring. Early spring, no food, nothing around. And it would had, uh, after, I, after I shot the, the, the cougar, it had, the canines were rotten. Yeah, so it was it couldn't eat. It couldn't eat for itself. So. Oh. We had a bear that was the same way. So yeah. this is a bad year. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, get out of here. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, the bear, right? The, yeah. The, the, yeah the, well, we, we have lots of bears as friends, do I? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, I feed the bears. Oh yeah. yeah. Like the guts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I had a baby bear last year because uh, they have bear season and somebody shot its mum. Oh, no. And it was just a small one, and it was my dog for two months. Oh. I would walk around, I'd just call it, whistle like a dog, yeah. and the bear would come. come together. <laughs> and then we're drinking coffee in the morning, yeah. we're sitting there, and the bear would come sit down, and sit there on its bum, and then just scratch and look at us. I've got a video of it standing up at the table where yeah. I cut the fish, and um, it's so cute, it's just like a... Yeah, I was cutting. I like was a little kid, you know. I was cutting fish, and the the bear would come up and start pulling on my apron. Oh. <laughs> and he didn't feed me. He didn't he have any fish, so he gave him a jar of canned fish. And yeah. the bear was standing up at the table, oh. batting the well, jar batting the around. Jar and you know? then he's like, "Where's the rest of the fish?" <laughs> and then he stuck. He and then I was going like this and to him, and he grabs my little finger, and I go, "Come on, let go of my finger if you want another fish head." He lets go and I feed him fish heads. Like, oh, I always wow. have some heads there. Yeah. They love them. They love fish. So, but if you bears, they don't bother me. I respect them. Yeah. But um, if you leave them alone, they leave you alone. Yeah. Yeah. You have to understand that if they're really hungry, yeah. um, they're in competition for food. Yeah. So you never put yourself in the position yeah. of making them think that you're trying to get their food kind mm -hmm. of thing so yeah that's why he got scratched by the same bear no he oh. was trying to get my deer yeah and <laughs> oh, so wow. he yeah because i had a deer in in my in the tote like this yeah and uh and this bear's been my buddy all summer right yeah. and then we hadn't seen him for a while because we weren't fishing and he come back and he was all beat up and hungry so i give him i fed him a couple apples and then he smelt my deer in the tote Oh. And he was trying to get at the deer, so I was going, go on, go on, go on. And he turned around and went like that. Yeah, and he gave me a scratch. But he didn't. And then later, he took off. I got mad, and I shot the gun to scare him away. Yeah. And then later, the bear come back up, and he rubbed his nose on my hand, and I never seen him again. Oh. Oh, it is just yeah. like a... Like a the end of the year. So, like, sorry. 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 I didn't yeah, mean to do that, yeah, <laughs> but I was right. hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's right there, but, but they... The whole summer long, you could see that the other bigger bears mm. would growl and snarl and swat him. Yep. And, you know, he'd run up the tree and stuff. And then finally, he was so hungry, he'd come back down the tree and mm -hmm. get in the competition of getting food, eh? Yeah. Because we'd take the totes of the guts and everything and put it a little ways away from us, you know? So they're not right behind us, or, oh, you know? Because you I can't see. hear them walking up. Yeah. yeah, and then the apples, the apple trees, yeah. they're doing really well. Oh, yeah, that's good. No, so that's they have lots of um, oh, lots of fruits. Different kind of fruits. Yeah. yeah. Although fish less, but they have the other. Yeah, and we always put out 
We don't put back to the river. We put back out for the other animals to eat the, the fish heads turkey, and guts. Turkey and vultures. We had lots of turkey Big vultures birds this year. This year. Oh, oh, yeah. lot, it looked like a turkey farm. We'd yeah. stick them out there, and then all these things come down. And they look just <laughs> like turkeys. They're so neat. Yeah, just like turkeys. Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. And then they fan out in the morning to dry their wings. Oh, they look, they're such nice birds. Eh? Mm. Yeah, everything's definitely oh, changing out there. Yeah, it is uh, a lot warmer. The river is a lot the river warmer, too. Is really, the, river is really the river is way too warm for this time of year. You could actually take a bar of soap and go bath in the water, in the river. So when you fish, you have to be on the net and you got to be checking. We call it hot picking, where, where we stick out the net and we sit right there. And as soon as the fish hits, we grab the fish, put it in a tote of ice, and then just, it would be like a spider in a web. <laughs> We're just waiting for them to come. And then we stick them in the ice right away. Because otherwise they, des- they deteriorate very quickly because the water is so warm in the freezer. It's yeah, way too warm. Right. They'll go bad in the net. Some more changes coming. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. If, if it doesn't cool, we could wipe loose our, our fish. Because of the water and the farm fish is no good. Don't buy farm fish. They have disease. And the commercial yeah. fisheries is yeah. fishing out the uh, runs. So the states are really bad. Try this to year. blame us. But the the <laughs> U- United States are really fishing out our fish. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. They always. In the sea? In the sea. Before they get here. Yeah. Right. They That's just the sit thing. outside and they yeah, won't let them. The water. Yeah, like the skeena, the before the fish get to the skeena, the Americans pick them up. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. And there's yeah. nothing that anybody can do. They just have to reel it. They're tight. Yes, right. all together there's right. hundreds of them really, really between red, that, that tribe that's, yeah, and that's where we live. And, so and that's just, it doesn't stop right at yeah. hope. It just keeps going up oh, all the way up the canyon. And there's hundreds and hundreds of oh, different yeah, bands. Oh. We call them bands. Oh, oh bands, so not twice. Yeah. We're the Union Bar Band. No. The Stalo Nation. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So how many yeah it's good to know. Yeah. There's, there's hundreds that I can't even pronounce. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, <laughs> Their names are this long. This long, yeah, long name, yeah. Do you still speak that kind of languages? Um, no. Because <laughs> most of the native uh, people, they lost their language they, already. Yeah, okay. I know that. They yeah. lost their language because of the um, yeah. Christians that came and made um, residential schools. Yeah. and. Oh yeah, lots of horrible things there because they said you're heathens and you shouldn't speak that heathen tongue, yeah. and, you know. So, uh, private though in the bigger re- reservations where they have schools and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and they've got elders that are trying to, you yeah. know, revive, revive it, and it yeah. teach the younger ones how to speak it. Yeah, they don't but have books, but, but only have language. But, uh, oh no, we were brought up because my father, our fathers were in the residential school, so. Um, we were brought up basically as white people. Mm. So my father moved to Vancouver mm-hmm. and we grew up in Vancouver and um, didn't really know that we were native because we got white skin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> until the other kids met my father and then then the racial stuff started. Uh, my mom was Briti- of British descent. <laughs> oh. His mother was Italian. <laughs> when my dad was younger, he wasn't a. When my dad was younger, he had to be out of town by nine o'clock at night because he was a native Indian, and he wasn't allowed to drink. He we couldn't. Allowed to go to the liquor weren't store. allowed to go to the liquor store, and that talk about prejudice then. <laughs> but yeah, that's, and the reason why, for my dad to be able to work off the reserve, he had to sign off the reserve. You couldn't be an Indian and work with white people. Very prejudiced in them days. <laughs> but now that you can live back in your... Now place. you can, yeah. It's different now. But when my dad was growing up, you were either white or you are Indian. One or the other. You weren't allowed to... You weren't allowed to go to dances in this... If, if no alcohol or anything. But the white people were allowed to. But... But you 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 can all kind of uh, recipe from Italian, 
and also yeah. <laughs> well there's a Indian in my my bloodline there's Indian Italian and Irish wow. <laughs> no wonder <laughs> so really really appreciate your story thank you very much oh, thank you thank, thank you for telling me all, all about your cultures no yes. problem and oh. one day if I see you again I'll let you try dried fish wind dry all natural wind dry fish to wind dry fish you have to catch the fish alive and you have to bleed it and hold it till it stops bleeding and then you have to keep it in a bucket and then put it and then you have to take it to dry shack oh it's all in the way you cut it it's all in the way you cut it i'll show you